Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to RAM Overload. Today I'm going to be talking about what, in my opinion, are the top four web browsers of 2022. Okay, so these web browsers are the top ones based off what people use. And just in my opinion, um, if you are planning on choosing a browser, these are the ones you should definitely look into before looking into other ones. Okay, at number four, I'm going to say it is Google Chrome. So Google Chrome, you know, probably everyone has already heard of it or have used it, right? Um, you know, any if you're at a school or somewhere they most likely have google chrome installed right basically anywhere you go most people have google chrome installed so it is a pretty fast perform uh, browser you know when you search something up there is um in terms of speed it is pretty quick right um a safer way to browse that's a little questionable in based off what you think is safe right uh, defining what safe is um, I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute and it's the official browser from Google so Google obviously is a trusted company and you know their browser is um, you know it, it would be lying saying that it's not good okay obviously saying that is Google Chrome is not perfect that's why it is at number four rather than number one um, you know it is a resource hog so you know if you when you do have a lot of tabs open or if you are someone that has a lot of tabs open uh, you're you will notice a performance decline on Google Chrome okay and not only Google Chrome but just your computer itself okay because Google Chrome based off tabs it just keeps adding up and eventually um, slows down your computer where it's noticeable all right so that's the first thing um, you know it, it is also bad with privacy you know Google has this whole thing about privacy you know a lot of people don't like Google because of that reason or and their products because of that reason and you know because they do a lot of tracking and um, you know data collection and stuff like that and you know some people are okay with it a lot of people aren't um, that's just up to you to decide whether you are fine with it or not. But other than that, the browser is pretty good. You know, there's really, it, it, there's really good integration with other Google products, right? So, um, let's say for example, if you are using like um, Gmail and the Google Docs and just other products that they have, small products here and there, um, and there's really good integration with that. Okay. That being said, Google Chrome does have one of the best. Um, what do you call it? Uh, third party a application or plugins or web store that they have, which is right here. Um, they have one of the best ones um, out there. But that being said, um, the this web store isn't um, Chrome specific anymore. A lot of other browsers use this as well. All right. That being said, um, it is still pretty good. So moving on, the next browser that I would say is um, on my list would be definitely Brave Browser. Okay, so so Brave Browser is pretty unique in terms of browsers, right? It's very different from the other browsers, but yet it's also very same. So it is the best browser. Well, it claims to be the best browser for privacy online. That's why people love it so much. And it is also open sourced. Okay, so meaning that you know it's completely free and the source code is available if you were to go through it all right um it automatically blocks ads right so that's also good but you know people say that kind of hurts the whole um i guess online economy where you know a lot of websites are based off ads but you know you could still view ads um Oh, which I'll talk about in a moment. But uh, before we get into that, you know, Brave Browser, it does stop you from being followed by uh, different trackers on different websites, right? Online privacy made simple, switch 60 seconds, sure. Um, so you guys can see over here, here is a uh, breakdown of what it offers and what it doesn't, right? Um, ad blocked, right? Interestingly, they should add Google, um, Microsoft Edge here as well and just to do a comparison on that as well but um, in terms of that it does um, uh, block ads built in and it blocks third-party cookies and when you do use it in private mode it uses Tor to hide your IP and um, your location and information alright so this is Brave Browser you guys can see that um, this is the home page trackers I just reset everything so it's zero right um brave talk so this does use um or this does give you uh bat token right so basic authentication token right uh, which is a cryptocurrency and you could opt in to view ads and as you view ads you will get um this um 
you, you will get some tokens as you view ads. Okay, and, and you know, that's up to you to decide whether it's worth it or not, but it does do that. So if I go into private mode, oops, oh, wrong button. So you guys can see over here, now I'm in private mode. This private mode does use Tor built in, right? So it, like I mentioned, it hides your information um, when uh, doing so. Um, so yeah, that's Brave. I would definitely recommend Brave also um, highly above Chrome. Since this is also built on Chromium web browser, all the plugins that I mentioned that are available on the Google Chrome web store are able to be added here as well. Okay, so just keep that in mind. All right, moving on, let's talk about Microsoft Edge. So Microsoft Edge is an interesting one because a lot of people still associate Microsoft Edge with the Internet Explorer. And those of you not, that know Internet Explorer know how much of a fail that is or how much of a disappointment that is to Microsoft and basically the whole web browsing experience. Okay, uh, but you know, that's that's the complete opposite because Google Chrome is nothing like uh, Internet Explorer at all. So Google, I mean, Google, Ed, um, I'm getting confused. Microsoft Edge is nothing like Internet Explorer. All right. Um, Edge is actually also built on Chromium web browser. So similar to the previous two, Brave and Chrome, right? So that means that Obviously, like I mentioned before, you can install the Chrome plugins in Microsoft Edge as well. So currently, this is the main browser that I always use, right? Um, so uh, this one, in my opinion, is uh, it, it comes in at number two. Uh, I'll talk about that in a minute, but it does do pretty well in uh, my opinion. So they do have an efficiency mode. So, you know, um, it does use less resources, right? When you're on, let's say a laptop, you want to save battery or anything. So it definitely has that, which is really good. It has a shopping tool. So whenever you're on like some kind of e-commerce website, it will automatically give you like a small pop-up uh, saying that, okay, you can find it cheaper. We found it cheaper on these websites. You know, if you want to check it out, go ahead. You can save like, what, like over here, $14. And uh, this does work. I have used it and have gotten some discounts uh, nothing too crazy but definitely better than nothing all right um, like here I mentioned the efficiency mode um, better for performance better for your battery and overall computer right um, stay safer it does do um, it does auto lets you choose auto generated passwords which are pretty secure and saves them if you want to I personally don't opt in for that because um, if I do need to log in on a different device that doesn't have um, let's say edge I pretty much will never remember what these passwords are. All right. Um, so yeah, and, and also the really good thing I like about uh, Microsoft Edge is that it allows you to organize things really nicely, okay? Uh, it's not like the other browsers where you're basically just kind of, um, you know, everything's a mess. So let me just bring it up here. So they do have collections, right? Um, you can also do over here, you can, um, make website or apps for s certain websites, which is really nice in my opinion, right? Um, they also have like a, um, a web capture. So if you want to take a screenshot of the a web page, it allows for that. And they also have a, a reading mode, which I guess you have to be on a specific website, right? Uh, let's see. Yeah, you probably have to be on like an article or something where it basically takes out all the distractions on a web page unless you just see the article that you need to read which is really nice in itself because um, it helps you stay organized and it helps you um, you know stay focused on what you need to stay focused on okay that being said um, you know the extensions they do have their own store as well but obviously if um, your plugin doesn't exist there you can definitely just go to the Chrome the Google Chrome one and get it from there all right all right last but not least we are going to talk about Firefox so Firefox is a browser, I guess um, now it's being less and less used, but in my opinion, it probably will always stay the number one browser unless something a lot better comes out. But I've used Firefox for so long and I've never really had any issues with it. So this Firefox is not built on Chromium like the past three browsers, right? Um, it's on its own, um, I guess, browser, the, its own custom browser, not on Chromium. Right, and it, it does good, really good with privacy as well. Right, so I, in my opinion, it it is a very um, 
uh, neck and neck with uh, Brave Browser and Firefox, right? It, it would just depend on what you're looking for at that point. Uh, Firefox is available on all browsers or on all operating systems, I should say, um, Linux, uh, Apple as well. And then it also um, has their own plugin store. So it's not similar to Google Chrome, right, where it uses the web store. And since it's not built on Chromium, you won't be able to leverage the Google Chrome store. So, but they do have their own web store, right, uh, for add-ons or plugins. You know, Firefox was actually the one that came up with the idea and then uh, Google Chrome kind of came afterwards and um, copied it and made it a lot better, all right? Um, and, um, you know, a lot of apps are available on Firefox. I'm not going to say every app, but there are a decent amount of plugins available in their um, uh, plugin app uh, plugins. So, yeah, that I would give Firefox a number one. Uh, definitely a far, um, definitely a top contender. It's a close match for these top four browsers anyways. So Firefox number one, Edge number two, Brave number three and Chrome number four. So yeah, that's it for the list. You know, if you guys think that another browser should be on this list, or if you think that, you know, maybe I should try out an another browser and maybe replace one of these, do let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Peace.